Hi guys, I'm Sabrina and today for this Be Active segment, I'm going to show you guys how to do my absolute favorite workout. Um, it's called a HIIT workout. I do this every single day. HIIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. The idea behind HIIT workouts is that you're doing a workout for a small amount of time. So we're doing, I think, 20 workouts today, and each one is going to be around 45 seconds long. The idea behind this is that you're getting your heart rate up, and with that, it increases your the rate of your metabolism. So it stimulates your metabolism. The higher your heart rate gets, it gets you moving, it gets you sweating. It's a great way to work out. It doesn't take any materials. That's why I love this so much. I'm going to do it on a um, yoga mat. You can do it in the grass. You can do it anywhere in your house that you have just space to work on. It's a great way to get active without a gym, especially because in quarantine we weren't able to access these gyms. You can look up a HIIT workout. There's so many different ones out there that work on different parts of your body. Today, I'm gonna focus a lot on abs, but legs will also be moving, arms are moving. Mostly it's like a full body all the time. So I'm so excited to get started. My brother, William, he's a camper at the Antiochian Village. He's gonna be working out with us and helping me out, taking time. So let's get started. I'm so excited to do this with you guys. Okay guys, before we get started, I just wanted to add, um, usually before I start a HIIT workout, I usually do some cardio. So I ran two miles a little bit before this and it's a great way to make sure that your legs are moved and that you're not pulling anything. I would also really recommend stretching. We don't wanna pull anything and so stretching is really gonna be crucial. You can bike ride, run, do really anything before this, do a dance, I don't know, but anything to get yourself moving a little, get those legs relaxed, get the um, lactic, lactic acid moving. And jumping jacks, so ready William, start the time. Ready, set, go. <laughs> With everything you do, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your core tight. When you keep your core tight, it not only works those core muscles, but it, it helps you prevent any back injuries and we don't wanna be injured. Also, when you're doing your jumping jacks, make sure that your arms and legs are completely extended and they're not being bent so that you're doing it in the proper form. Okay, we're gonna jump right into crunches. So I'm gonna get down on my mat and start right away. You're gonna put yourself in this position and the crunch, you're only gonna go up halfway. But we're gonna do this 45 seconds. Ready? Yep. Make sure that you're squeezing your abs every time you go up and that you're keeping your core tight. We're jumping right into skater lunges. So skater lunges, I'm gonna show you how to do it. You're gonna jump from side, put like a, a diagonal lunge back, and you're gonna reach down with the opposite hand that your leg's going, the same hand that leg's going back. So you're just gonna keep doing this, jumping, switching between which leg goes back and which hand goes down. Again, when you're doing this, you just wanna make sure that you're maintaining a tight core Okay, we're done with that one. Next is reverse crunch with leg extension. So you're gonna get back down on the mat. And I like to put my hands um, close to my bottom area. And um, you're gonna go put your legs up, lift up with your abs like this, and then you're gonna push them out like this for the leg extension. So again, you're going up, Lifting up with your core, and you're going back down for the leg extension. 
up, leg extension. It's really hard to do at first, so if you need to take breaks, feel free. I took so many breaks when I started. Just make sure that you keep your core straight, because this is a really easy way to strain your back. What do we have? Ten more. Ten more seconds. Good. Okay. We're done with that one. Um, up and down planks. So I'm gonna do it this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. You're gonna start up here in this position. Make sure that our backs are flat anytime we go into plank. And I'm gonna go down to my forearms and go down the second one and go back up with the other arm. And it's just a crescendo from your left arm starting to your right. You go down on your forearms and you go back up. You can watch me or William, either one. Make sure that you keep your back straight. And you also wanna make sure you're not swaying too much side to side because that can also injure you. So you wanna try and keep your core straight so that you're going up and down in the same motion. This time. 10 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. Time. Okay. Next workout, we're doing lunge back, a backwards lunge, and then we're doing a front kick. So I'm gonna stretch my right leg. We're gonna alternate right and left. So I'm gonna lunge back, kick forward. With the left leg, kick forward. Make sure that you're keeping your core straight and your core tight and your back straight. Take your time. Stop. Okay, backwards. Also wanna make sure that your arms are moving too. So when I go down, when my right leg goes back, my right hand goes up, then I'm kicking. When my left hand goes back, my left arm goes up, and I'm kicking. Same thing. Here we go. Time. Time. Okay, next, we're jumping into burpees so most of you might probably know how to do a burpee i'm gonna do mine i'm gonna jump up go down and do a push-up kick my legs to the center and go back up and do it all over again so up i'm going down push up make sure that when you do this you're remaining tight with your core and you don't want to fling your body so you don't injure yourself so if you need to walk slow we can go i'll show you an easy way you can just back up and you can do a push up on your knees one two one and you can walk yourself back up if you do it that way you can ensure that you don't injure anything or you can do it how william's doing it in a constant motion continuing time time okay good <laughs> Next thing we're doing is a Spider-Man plank. As you can probably tell, we're almost halfway through. I'm breathing heavy, William's breathing heavy. Our heart rates are up, we're moving. It's a great way to work out, so we're gonna keep going. Spider-Man plank. Get in the plank position, and you're gonna take your leg and go sideways like this. Bend it sideways, and go to the opposite, or go to the same elbow. So, elbows in, like this. I'll do it from the front so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Taking my elbow, going sideways like that. Make sure your core is tight through all of this. Also make sure you're wearing proper shoes to work out in. What time is it? 10 seconds. 10 seconds. What's the next one? Okay, the next one is a jump squat and twist. We're gonna start in the center. We're gonna do one squat. Make sure that your knees are in. That was a poor posture by my, my part. Your knees are in, but you never want your knees to go 
above your heels when you're doing this. Yeah. Okay. Squat, twist, squat in the center. Then I'm gonna twist to the other side and squat, twist to the other side. We're gonna continue doing that. So I'll go sideways. You can see what I'm doing. Squat, twist, squat, twist, squat. Make sure you're going all the way down. Time. Okay. Time. Next. We're doing flutter kicks. We're going back down on the mat. And we're going to put my hands next to me. And I'm just going to do 45 seconds of flutter kicks. Some people call them scissors. Just keep your like one at a time, going up and down in the opposite direction. Make sure you're squeezing your core. Good, okay. Next on our list, we're doing plank jacks. Plank jacks are one of my favorite workouts. We're gonna start here in the center. I'll show you this way. We're starting in a plank position and we're gonna go back in and out with our legs. So I'm gonna lower my body. Make sure you're squeezing your abs. Again, just going in and out. breaks throughout anything we're doing. Time. Time. Awesome. Next workout, we're doing leg V-ups. We're going to do alternating leg V-ups. So, again, we're back laying down on the mat and with my right arm I'm gonna start I'm gonna meet my left leg in the middle like this and these are b-ups continuously switching for 45 seconds make sure you squeeze your abs this really works your side obliques your abs. How much longer are you? 10 seconds. 10 seconds. I'm feeling the burn. Are you guys? My abs are tight. Done. Sweating. Awesome. What's next? On our list. Next. We have push-ups with mountain climbers. So, okay, I'll do this sideways too. Or, um, you do them front, I'll do them sideways. Right. Okay, you're gonna do four mountain climbers and then you're gonna go into a push-up. So, one, two, three, four, push-up. Maybe you guys can push up better than I can. One, two, three, four. Push up. One, two, three, four. going. Four. Four. 20 seconds. Okay. Good? Two. Yeah, you Okay. Time. Let's see. Next workout. We're doing 
in and out squats. So what you're gonna do for this is we're gonna start in a squat position. One, we'll do it front, I'll do it sideways. So we're gonna squat, we're gonna go in, back out, squat. In, back out, and squat. In, back out, and squat. Again, make sure we're properly lowering. I'm not lowering as much as I could be. Make sure to sink your touch back so that your knees are not going above your front toes. Time. Time. Okay. Next workout, we have um, corkscrew back on the mat. There's two ways to do this. For a more like beginner, I would keep your legs on the ground and you twisting side to side. Make sure you're twisting side to side. So William will do that one. Or yeah, you do beginner. So just twist side to side. I'm gonna show you the more like intermediate. You're gonna put your legs in the air like we did at the beginning for crunches. And you're just gonna go side to side. Sometimes you can do this with a weight ball or dumbbells, or you can just do it like what I'm doing right now, just with your hands. You just wanna make sure you're fully twisting side to side. It's the best way to work your obliques, your center abs, all of it. Make sure you're squeezing your abs so you're not hurting your back. Good? Five seconds. Okay, five seconds. We're almost done, one more workout. Time. Okay. Last thing we're doing today is high knees. So let's end it high, or let's end it strong with some high knees. Ready, set, go. Make sure your legs are coming high all the way up. Show you side view. Keep your core tight. you saw I'm exhausted I had to stop that workout early because I'm so exhausted um do this workout with like however you want to do it do the every workout if you can do it stop and take a break if you can't I can't wait to see what you guys think of this workout make sure you're commenting on the video when it comes out make sure you're doing the videos posting about them sending them the AV sending your photos to Mircha. This is gonna be an awesome summer. I can't wait to see what you guys think of this. Clearly I'm out of breath. Go get water. That was awesome. Thanks for joining me. Love you guys, bye.